I want to give you some basic bar chord changes back and forth and explain the proper way that you should be going about changing them. Remember, the reasons people are having trouble is because their technique is not pure. And that is why we spent a lot of time in the earlier lessons talking about things like keeping your fingers glued to the strings, about having your pinky hitch a ride, keeping it tucked tight against that third finger. Okay, and then we're going to zoom in the camera in a minute and we're going to show you some of these changes up close and you're going to see exactly why we did that. And that's because with that pinky tucked in tight on chords like A minor and C and D and D minor, it makes going to bar chords so easy because that pinky just falls right where it has to. You don't even have to think about it. It's just automatic. Okay, if your pinky, if your technique was not pure and your pinky was flailing out, Okay, way out here, and you're trying to get to a bar chord, and your pinky's got to come off. Man, you're going to miss that change. Or if your hand is coming apart. See, we've been um, building this solid foundation of good technique and good fundamentals with you, and now it pays off the next level, and the next level, and the next level. Guitar is that staircase, like I keep talking about. You master step one, and you traverse step two, and you get step two down, and step three, and they all, you're building, and you're building on one another. Remember those cluster changes, that's helping you now because with bar chord changes, you're not going to take your hand apart. It's just going to stay in this same cluster with your fingers tight uh, up against the string. Just imagine your hand is just magnetically attracted to the strings. You don't want to get that credit card between your strings and your fingers, okay, as you do these changes. You can do it because there hasn't been a student yet that we haven't been able to get to play bar chords. and. Like I talked about when I was first teaching you bar chords, it's not about strength. I've had kids play bar chords, children. It's not about strength, it's about technique and you could use that leverage we talked about and, and, and keeping that wrist down and that thumb anchored in the back of the neck and just getting that those uh, all six or five notes, whatever chord you're playing, whatever shape, to ring out nice and clean, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to give you a series of opens to bar chord changes and then even some bar chord to bar chord changes and I want you to practice these and I want you to write these down in your practice logs, okay? And you go back and forth. Remember how you used to work a D to G change? You would just go D, one hit, G, get everything to ring clean, G, and then you went with a quarter note, right? One note per beat, one, two, three, a slow quarter note, G are open chords and then you went to like a eighth note strum pattern like strum one down up down up up down up down up down up up down up change to g up up down up down up down up up down up down up down up up down up right you're going to use that same format when we do our bar chord changes our open to bar chord changes for instance if we go from an e open to an f sharp F sharp bar chord, you're on that F sharp note, that root note second fret, low E string, and you're playing that sixth string root or low E string root, F sharp major. So you're going to first just E, F sharp. And I'm going to give you a tight shot of this in a second. And then you're going to go on to quarter notes. Two, three, four, F sharp. One, First, you're going to go through the same struggles where you're going to be playing that E. One, two, three, four. And it's going to take you a little bit to get there, but you'll get faster and faster at it. And it's going to take you a little bit to hit it to get all six notes to ring out. Okay. So use that same format where you first do the change, just, just one hit each to get that mechanics down. And a lot of this, too, is muscle memory. Okay, because after a while, see, I can go back and forth all day while I'm talking to you between an E and F sharp, and I'm not even thinking about it. It's just automatic. It's just automatic. My fingers just know exactly where to fall, and that's what will happen to you too. Okay, muscle memory. Start with it one hit each, then try it with a slow quarter note in time. Try to play it in time. Then go to your eighth note strum. Maybe at first two measures per chord. Spend a little bit more time on each chord. It'll make it easier than one measure per chord and you'll master it, you'll have it in your pocket. Grab an open E major chord, and then you're gonna to try to change to an F sharp major bar chord. See that F sharp on that second fret? Okay, so you're going from that. Now notice my pinky 
is hitching a ride like we always keep it on that third finger. And notice if I do this in slow motion, you see how it just falls right into place. I don't even have to think about that pinky. Look at that because it's attached to that third finger and it falls right where it needs to be. That's a beautiful thing and you want to do that, keep that pinky on all those open position chords that we talked about like A minor, see the pinky? D, right? C, all right? D minor, okay? That pinky position doesn't stick. Not out here, not, you know, in tight. That's the way you should have been practicing it. It should be automatic for you. So just go E major, F sharp, and that's a nice, now notice again as I go in slow motion, see my fingers? They're at, you can't get a, a slice of paper almost in between there and the strings. See how they slide? I'm not going E, taking my hand apart either. I'm using that cluster principle, leaving my hand clustered together as I go to that F sharp. And as I notice already, as I get, watch as I go down the neck, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm getting in that bar chord position before I even hit this second fret. You see that? How I'm already, I'm not waiting till I get all the way over here and then getting in position. I'm starting to position my fingers as I'm moving them across the frets. And just take it with a slow quarter note. Notice the thumb, okay? Notice my thumb. I do not leave my thumb and try to leave it back here as I go to that F sharp. The thumb moves with the hand, right? Like we talked about. See that? Moves with the hand. So I'm on that E. I'll just bring it up more so you could see it. E. Notice how it moves with my hand when I go to the F sharp, okay? Very important. Okay. Another one to try is F major to C open. Okay? And again, notice that pinky hitching that ride, okay? So F, C. Back and forth. That's a little trickier, but you could do it. Two, three, four, C. Two, three, F. One, two, three, four, C. Two, three. Notice on the C how my thumb mutes that low E string, like it does for all A, B, C, and D type open chords. G, open to B minor. Now, if you notice something when I do this, I'm playing a G major chord, four finger G. Notice my first finger is on a B note already. It's in that chord, okay? So I don't take that off. That's a shared finger. I just kind of drop my first finger down to bar position. I'll do it slow motion. There's my G chord, but notice with that first finger. So when I go to B minor, I just basically just kind of straighten it out and bar. So watch the first finger. G, now here goes B minor. See how I just drop that finger down. Don't take it off or out or anything like that. It's not necessary. G, drop, B minor. Back to G. B minor. Eight notes strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up. F-sharp minor to D, okay? Very kind of cluster-esque change. A lot is A minor to F, okay? So that one, a little tricky, but you could do it again, back and forth. Just go back and forth between those two. Get that first finger down, barred, flat, across all six strings right behind the fret. Remember when you're barring these, don't be having your bar finger in the middle or toward the back, right behind the fret. Here's one that's going to be a little harder for you. Try going from a C open to a C minor. Third fret, A string root, C minor chord from a C, C minor. Now you got to drag across two frets. So notice how I'm getting in that position before I even get past the next fret. I'm already in that minor bar chord shape, right? C, C minor. 
<laughs> don't worry, they're not going to come overnight. Don't worry if you can't get them right away. It's going to take some time. This is going to be an evolution. Some of the easier ones you'll get quicker. And then really be diligent about hitting those and the ones you're really struggling with. Put them in your log. Practice them every day. Just go back and forth practicing the mechanics of that change. And um, you can do it. Stay positive, And we'll see you in the next lesson.